Welcome to my bonus boot collection review video where I'll go through all of the Adidas Predator boots I've amassed over the years. We'll start off with my very first pair of Adidas Predators, the Adidas Predator Precision. Released in 2000 and worn by Adidas superstars such as Zinedine Zidane and David Beckham, this legendary boot is actually used for the Golden Boot Award given to the top goal scorer in Europe. The boot features a fold over tongue which attaches to the boot using velcro in what, and is one of the most iconic predator boots ever produced. Striking the ball is a dream and the sole plate was excellent. Although the boots were built to last, you did have some cracking of the white adidas stripes which was a shame. I've given this boot a 7 out of 10 just because by today's standards they are extremely heavy. A fantastic and iconic boot, I did try and use them a couple of weeks ago and my god they were difficult to play in because they were just so heavy compared to the boots of today. Worn by the likes of David Beckham, Kaká and Michael Balak, the Adidas Predator Mania was launched for the Japan and South Korea World Cup in 2002. The white colourway model was primarily used by David Beckham and for me this Predator was the greatest football boot ever produced. Much lighter than the Precision, this boot had an elasticated tongue which was lovely to fold over as it meant you can get a clean, beautiful strike on the ball. The swerve you can get with them made you feel like Bex and the leather used was such fantastic quality that even 14 years on they're still in very good condition. This is the only boot which I've awarded 10 out of 10 out of the whole collection just because it's not just the greatest boot Adidas ever made but the greatest boot anyone has ever made. And if you see my other boot collection video, you'll see that mainly I'm a Nike fan. So that's high praise indeed. The Adidas Predator Absolute was launched in 2006, and with David Beckham going stateside, you mainly saw the boot on the likes of Steven Gerrard, Robin Van Persie and Kaká. The boot was much lighter than its predecessors, but it was still a sturdy boot. The strike zones were excellent, and it still felt like a proper Predator football boot. The build quality was once again fantastic and it's a boot I still use occasionally today. You can get some excellent swerve on the ball and it still, still has the brilliant fold over tongue which is an iconic feature of the Predator boots. For me this boot has a top score of 9 out of 10 and another one of my favourite ever football boots. This boot was only released a year after the Absolute and again was worn by the likes of Steven Gerrard, Robin Van Persie and David Beckham. While a very good boot, it seemed more like a small look grade rather than a brand new style of design and essentially, for me, it's just like an Adidas Predator Absolute 2.0. The boot itself is comfortable and the stud system was improved, but the problem for me was that the Absolute was still a better football boot and therefore the power swerve was always going to be the Absolute's inferior little brother. The fin designs on the front changed as well, and for me, not for the better. So in the end, I've given the Power Swerve a 6 out of 10. A decent boot, but not really an iconic, you know, an iconic boot in the Predator range. During this period, I was mainly into Nike football boots, as you can see from my first review video, so I didn't buy another Predator boot for another 7 years. The problem for me was that the models they brought out, such as the Predator X and the Lethal Zones, were nowhere near as inventive or inventive or, you know, even as interesting as the Predators before. Uh, but the Predator Instinct was a boot that interested me. Uh, the Predator Instinct turned out to be the last ever Predator model made and in the end it was a very good boot indeed. I've given this boot an 8 out of 10 and that's because uh, while being an excellent boot which was lightweight and comfortable, it retained some of the original Predatorness, if that's a word, um, even though it was a much more modern boot. Uh, the fins on the sides were much more aggressive, which is what the Predator was all about, and the striking the ball was clean and accurate, so for me it was an excellent boot, not quite as standard as old ones, but still a very, very good boot. Anyway, thank you for watching my Adidas Predator boot special, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.